Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day. So I actually took the day off work today and I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to do a vlog. I used to do these all the time and I haven't in a while. So I thought today would be a great day because I actually, yesterday, I went to the doctor and I had my uh, skin cancer removed. I did do a little video on that, so thank you guys so much for all of your support. Everything is good. It was just a basal cell carcinoma and they removed it and I have a couple stitches and then they'll remove it. So anyway, I was gonna take today off and my daughter and I were gonna spend the day together, but she was actually invited to an amusement park for a friend and I had already taken off. So I was like, okay, well, I'll spend the day with myself and we are gonna go to the mall and grab a few things. And I thought it would be fun to take you guys along with me. So first, let's go ahead and let's do a quick little outfit of the day. Okay, let's do a little outfit of the day. I have my Kendra Scott Danielle turquoise earrings on. Then it's really hot here today, so I have this white dress from Vici Dolls. It's so lightweight. I have my shoes from Steve Madden, which you guys, these shoes are so comfortable. And then I thought I would wear my Chanel Tiffany Blue mini rectangular today. So this is my outfit. Um, usually in the summer months, I like to wear dresses because they're really comfortable. And then these shoes, I'm telling you, they are the best when it comes to like having to walk for long periods of time. So let me kind of show you what I have in my bag too. So we'll do a outfit of the day and a what's in my bag. Alrighty, so this is my beautiful bag of the day. I swear you guys, this is one of my dream bags. I am just in love with this color. So I don't have a ton in here, but I thought I would share with you. So I have my mask. This is my slip face mask. Then I also have my Chanel. This is my Chanel Mini O cosmetic pouch. And then on the inside, I just have like my cash and all of my cards. I kind of condensed everything into this since my purse is not very big. That way I can uh, fit everything I need. Then I know you guys are gonna laugh, but Florence is in town, you guys, so you always have to be prepared, and you know that I am always prepared with my tampons, so I have these, and then I have my, my key fob, so I didn't bring a key pouch with me because I want to be able to put my phone in here, and my phone will fit nicely if I just have this, my mask, my tampons, and it'll fit nicely. If I put a key pouch in there, it'll just take up more space than I need, so... I'll put everything back in here. Have my little mask, my key fob, and then I'll be able to slip my phone there too. And that is what's in my bag today. Okay, so one thing I wanted to do today is I actually have a purpose. I want to return a couple of things from Nordstrom. I have this Sweaty Betty tank that I picked up during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, and it's just kind of big and oversized, and it didn't really fit the way that I wanted it to. I have these leggings, which they're the Sweaty Betty leggings. I tried them on, and then I just decided I really didn't... Uh, need them <laughs> and then this right here so I actually had ordered the Zella leggings which you know how much I love and they actually put an extra one in the box by mistake and I don't know I just have a really guilty conscience I don't feel right about keeping it so I'm gonna return that as well so I might actually exchange uh, these for something else because the sale is still going on so I will keep you guys posted oh I also forgot to mention I added my sunnies these are my Key Australia Sunnies. I absolutely love these sunglasses. They're usually like 65 and I love to stock up when they go on sale. So that is the whole outfit for today. So let's go ahead and begin our journey. 
Okay guys, we are getting ready to head out. The mall actually opens in an hour and it usually takes me about an hour to get there. So I think we are going to get some coffee for the ride. I usually don't have my coffee till the afternoon. I know I told you guys that I've been working from home so it kind of gives me something to look forward to but since I'm off today, I think I'm gonna get the coffee this morning. So let's go ahead and get our little coffee fix and we're gonna head to Starbucks. Um, hi, how are you today? Um, can I please have a tall iced vanilla latte with one stevia? $24.19. Thanks so much. Yep. How are you today? You can just put it in there, that's okay. Thank you. Mm. Love it. Mm. So good. Ice vanilla latte, one stevia. Mm -mm. Okay guys, I just got to the mall. I finished my coffee. Oh my God, it was so good. Love it. Tall iced vanilla latte with one stevia. So good. Okay, so I got to the mall. Um, I'm here a little early. It actually looks like they haven't opened the doors yet. So I plan on going to Nordy's uh, to return a couple of things. I think for lunch, I might actually get a pretzel from Annie Ann's. That sounds so good, and I haven't had one of those in a long time. I might go to Victoria's Secret. Um, let's see, I might go into like Louis Vuitton and Neiman Marcus and places like that. I don't know, should I get a little something? We'll have to see. But I will try to take you along with me as much as I can. Sometimes I've found that it's a little difficult to film like inside the stores. So if I can, I'll be sure to kind of like keep you updated. So anyway, I'm really excited. I am so like funny in the sense where I love like having a day to myself and like I know a lot of people like going to the mall with like their girlfriends and stuff and that's fun too but I love just having a day to myself where I can like go in stores and take a little time and then just look and I'll have lunch by myself I think sometimes that's really important you know to just take a little time for yourself so we're gonna do that today I love doing stuff like this so let's go ahead and let's get to shopping you better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby shopping. I went into Nordy's and I returned a couple of things and I also picked something up too. So stay tuned. I will feature that in my part two of my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul. I also went to Sephora and got a couple items. What else? I went to Victoria's Secret and I got some undies and I also went into Louis Vuitton and uh, for Louis Vuitton and stores like that, a lot of them you have to wait in line. And there was a sweetest girl in front of me and her name was Karina. 
So hi, Karina, if you're watching. Uh, she was so sweet. I was standing in line and she turned around. She said, excuse me. She's like, do you do YouTube? And I was like, oh, yay. Because, you know, I don't really get a lot of people like coming up to me. So I thought that was really sweet. And, you know, I talked to her a little bit. So I, I if you're watching, Karina, I wish you luck. I hope you're able to get the bag that you wanted. But I tried on a few bags and I'm just kind of on the fence about it. I tried on the... Odeon PM, which I really like the monogram and the black combination. I tried on a couple others. I like that the Odeon PM had an outside pocket, but I asked Karina her opinion and she said, well, you just don't seem by your face that you're like really excited about it. and I think she was right so I want to kind of think about it a little bit because I definitely don't want to invest the money in something if I'm not like over the moon about it. So yeah, I went to Louis Vuitton and now I am going to head to Neiman Marcus. So let's continue on. Thank you. I, I will do this is the, the large dividend day bag. Okay, so I went into Neiman Marcus and they had so many beautiful bags today. I went into Chanel, they had a beautiful black Deauville bag. They had the most beautiful pink it was like a light pink chanel uh small classic flap it was so beautiful but then i asked the sales associate the price and when she told me i i i like was like wait what are you kidding me like it was like as much as i paid for my jumbo just for a small i can't even believe how much these prices have gone up for chanel it is crazy so then I went to YSL and I was just kind of looking at some of the purses you know I still have my eye on the Saint Laurent college bag the large size but luckily I say luckily they didn't have it in the store so you know I wasn't gonna order it they only had the small size but uh, I kind of just looked around and then I was going to go into the other Chanel boutique to buy some more gardenia perfume because that's my favorite but you had to make an appointment so I didn't end up going there but for the most part, I think I had a successful day. I got to look at some eye candy. I got one thing from Nordstrom, uh, two things from Sephora, and then I also got my daughter some drawers, which is good. So um, overall, it's a good day because I didn't really spend much money. So I will show you guys what I got from Sephora um, in a little bit, but I have to run because I have to try to beat some traffic. So stay tuned and I will show you what I picked up from Sephora. Okay, I just sat in traffic for like an hour and a half, but it's okay. I am going to run into Target really quick to pick up a few things. And then my husband and I are actually gonna go on a dinner date tonight. We're gonna go to the Melting Pot. That is kind of our go-to place if Sky is at a friend's house or if she's at a babysitter or something like that. We love the Melting Pot. It's a fondue restaurant and they have like hot pots that you cook your food in. And you can take your kids there, but that's kind of like our special place. So I'm going to run into Target, grab a few things, and then I'm going to meet him over there for dinner. cute dresses at Target. I saw a really cute pink stapler and a couple other random things, but I didn't end up getting anything. I was good because you know it's so hard to go into Target and not get anything, but I think I have a little more time to kill before I meet my husband, so I'm going to run into TJ Maxx really quick. TJ Maxx and Marshalls are two places where you can really strike gold. You just never know what you're going to find, so let's go in and see if we can find any goodies. TJ Maxx and as you saw they had a couple cute shoes 
but I was good once again I'm very proud of myself I didn't pick anything up I'm trying really hard to only buy things I need I know you guys have heard that before but I figured since I still had a little bit of time before I met my husband let me share with you some of the products that I picked up so I went to Sephora and I just got two things and the first thing I got was a beauty blender in this pretty pretty lavender color you guys can see I feel like you can never have enough beauty blenders I use these to apply my foundation I just dampen it and then I dab it on and I also use the pointy side right here to apply my concealer I love these so I got that and then I also picked up this it's the Dior Addict lip glow oil I've always wanted to try it and then the other day I was watching one of Shay Whitney's videos and she said it was so good. So I wanted to try it. They had a couple of different colors, which even if you got a color, it was sheer, but I ended up getting OOO, -O -O, which is just the universal clear. You can see what it looks like here. It is just a pretty thick wand. You can see like that. I'll put a little on. Oh my goodness. And it feels really nice on the lips. It doesn't feel sticky at all she was right and it has like a minty smell but it doesn't have like a tingly feeling or anything but you can see the pretty packaging and that's all I got from Sephora I also went to uh, Victoria's Secret and I got my daughter some um, like little some underwear from there just regular underwear but I, I won't show you those <laughs> Uh, and then I went to Nordstrom. I returned three items to Nordstrom and I saw a couple things I liked, but I only picked up one thing and stay tuned because I am doing a Nordstrom anniversary sale haul part two, but I'll share with you what I picked up in the fall. I absolutely love cardigans. Like I'm obsessed with cardigans more now than ever especially since I've been working from home and I saw this color. Well, first off, it's by Halogen. It is this cardigan right here. It is like a, a nice thick sweater material. So of course it's gonna be a little hot to wear right now. But it's by Halogen. It's really, really long and oversized. Typically I wear a size small. They didn't have a small, so I opted for a medium. So it's definitely gonna be oversized. But the way I like to wear this is I like to wear this with a white top underneath and then some leggings or I like to wear it with some jeans and some like slide sneakers but this is very oversized really comfortable and you'll see me try it on when I do that video but this right here was uh, originally $79 and it was $46.90 uh, during the sale but I saw a couple they still had I was surprised they still had some Barefoot Dreams blankets and all sorts of things I thought for sure those would sell out really quickly because every year they usually do so those are actually the only things I picked up I was proud of myself as I stated I went into Chanel and saw two beautiful bags I saw that pink one that was pretty I saw the Chanel uh, Deauville black tote that was pretty and then I went into Louis Vuitton and I did really like the Odeon PM uh, I liked it I feel like it would have been really functional but I just wasn't like wowed by it although I do like the little uh, luggage tag that's on it and I do like that back pocket for my phone so I'm kind of on the fence with that one because as I've told you guys if you're going to invest the money in a luxury handbag you want to make sure that you're like excited about it and I just don't know if I'm like super excited about it, but it is a bag that, that has caught my eye. The last time I walked by Louis Vuitton, I saw the Odeon PM sitting on the shelf and it looked really, really nice, but I didn't try it on. And this was the first time I tried it on, which you guys saw the clip of that. And I don't know, I just really wanna think about it some more. I wanna make sure I really do a lot of thinking before I invest in any more handbags. I really, really do because obviously they're a lot of money and I wanna make sure that I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. So, okay, so those are, that's it for our errands today. And then we are going to meet my husband at the melting pot. I'm very, very excited. Okay, I fibbed. I have a little bit of time, so I'm going into Home Goods really quick. You know I have to go to Home Goods.
Okay, we are back from dinner and now we are taking the dog for a walk. Dave does not like being on camera. We love going on walks in the evening. guys we got done with our walk and now we are going to settle down and watch a movie so I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog here thank you guys so much for coming along with me I hope you had fun and enjoyed this video that was a little different so stay tuned because I will be doing my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul part two so stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for coming along and make sure to subscribe if you guys are new to my channel and I'll see you in my next video Wish me the best of luck I'm gonna